I've gotten myself a, a VR headset that looks like this. That brings a whole new world of problems to solve. You got this like thing that you insert into the headset and it has this, this foam. So I replaced it with this fake leather one and I 3D printed this holder. Because the other one got really yeah. nasty when you played a lot and you got like sweaty in there. So I put this here and it's better. It's easier to clean. It's much more hygienic. But there's another problem. If you play, for example, Beat Saber on like really hard difficulties, at least for me, water or sweat starts running down your face, which makes it even harder to play and less enjoyable. So I'm gonna solve that issue. And instead of using this yeah. normal insert I've been using here now, I have made this one, which is almost the same. It just has this thing on the top here. So you can yeah. put a fan there. Yeah. And then the fan is gonna blow air out through these holes. Yeah, it's hard to see them, but there are two holes here and the plan is that the fan will blow air into the headset So there's less of a chance of sweating running down your face But to get this to work, uh, I need to have a fan. I have one here And I'm gonna use for now the battery to power it And here's my battery holder and I'm pumping up the voltage from 3.6 volts to this fan can handle 24 volts uh, but I'm not sure I need that much but I can regulate how much air I want by turning this little thing here this one is gonna go here and then the fan will be on top here then I have to run some wires to this, or I can just have it also here. I think my... Uh, my audience is having problems. Let's see what kind of problems my audience is having. There is no problem. Maybe we got stuck in the basket. What's the problem, huh? I sanded it down a bit so it's a bit smoother because where the supports were it's a bit rough. I'm gonna treat this with some acetone vapors to get it even smoother. And to do that I use this pot. I'm gonna place it in here. And together with some acetone and then I'm gonna heat it a little bit. We're gonna cook this together with some acetone. Oops, I was not supposed to get it on the fire, but that's done now, and then we're going to close it up and put the cooker on, maybe at the first stage. I'm going to let this cook for a while. Done, and it looks quite good in some places, but I mean it's, it's better than it was before. It's probably stronger also, so this is good enough. Now I just need to attach the fan. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. This is gonna go in here. So I just put it together. So here's the battery. And the fan is running. And the air is coming out from underneath. So here's the holes. sits on top and then the holes for the fans are in here so they're gonna come to each of the lenses and your own eyes and cool down your face hopefully the lenses won't fog up as much also when this thing is on this hole in the middle is for the head strap because you need to thread it through this Seems like someone wants my attention now.
So this is how it looks when it's on the actual headset. I just strapped the battery here to make it easy to test it. And I just played now for maybe one or two hours. And it works great. I didn't have any problems with fog inside the on the lens on the headset. And I didn't have any problems with sweat in my eyes. So yeah, just blowing a little bit of air there. Does a lot. Oh yeah, you can see all the lights. That's really cool. So I'm blocking some of them. Wow, that's really cool. So the lights are everywhere. That's that's really cool to see. So that's interesting. That means I could actually be blocking some lights on the top there. But it didn't affect my playing, so not that I noticed. It was playing quite well. Let's, let's check the controller. Oh yeah. They have a lot of lights as well. Wow. Yeah, I could uh, design this differently so the fan is on top of your head instead of on the top of the headset. I could put the fan anywhere. I just made it like that. Yeah, this is my VR setup. I have my computer up there. I need a cable there. And then I stand here in the kitchen because it's the only place I got at the moment that is big enough for me to play. So I can stand here and play all my games. It's just that I have to remove the table, all the chairs and stuff. Put the computer up there. I don't have a screen attached to it at the moment because I don't have it here normally. I just have it here when I'm playing VR. So it's a bit of a hassle to deal with, but it's better than no VR. So this is my new VR setup. I'm in a garage right now where I have my projects with the cars and stuff. And uh, after clearing this space here, there was a lot of stuff here like ATVs and motors and yeah, a lot of stuff that was just sitting. I cleared it and then I could fit the VR in here. So I have a computer on this, one of the towers, second tower, and I got a third tower in the back, it's over there in the corner. And I'm really happy with this. This is so much space. I'm not used to having so much space to play VR in. I've never hit anything here. I jumped once and hit the roof actually. But that's because it's not that. It's quite a low roof here, but that's fine. So uh, I've made some changes to the Oculus cooler. It still looks the same here and you connect it when you need cooling. I skipped the battery because it was just on the side and yeah and just installed a, a long USB cable so it's it makes the cable fatter like here are the, it's a USB extension so it's two cables now uh, that go and I've just connected it to a USB port here and that works fine I don't need to care about changing batteries charging batteries I'm quite happy with that solution. I could use a thinner cable because it uses so little electricity. This cable is a bit unnecessarily fat. But for now, it doesn't bother me enough to change it. And I use it every time I play VR. Even if I'm not playing Beat Saber or something that makes me like sweaty. It's still so nice to have. Like you get rid of all the fog. And then if you get tired of having air blowing in your face, you can just turn it off. It doesn't bother you that it's there. So yeah, it's, it's like really good upgrade for the VR headset. 